Why fasting? Simply, according to our belief, man is not only the body, you see. Man have a soul. So, humankind is not an animal uh, being. He is just very much different because we were created on the image and likeness of God himself. So we have an interior, internal thing we cannot see. And this internal thing is much more important than the external. Our bodies will last in this life for some years and then we all know the end of this. But for the souls, they never die. That's why Christianity is about the spiritual life. It's not the physical life. The body may serve the soul, but the soul should not serve the body. Because when you live your life as just physical being, you know, you are like an animal. But when you live with the spirit, you are like angels. So the angel side and the animal side are in us. So when we focus on the spiritual life, now we are like saints, we are growing in spirit. We will be the like angels in heaven, exactly what our Lord Christ said. So fasting is the work of the spirit. When we pray, when we fast, it's not about the physical body. It's the time when we spend more time focusing on God, focusing on our spirits, growing in the spirit, spending more time loving God and loving people, showing, expressing our love to God by, you know, putting some limits to our body needs. So these limits help us to enjoy spiritual life more. When you fast, you can pray better. When you fast, you will feel the needs of many people around you because you deny yourself, you focus on others. That's the expression of Christian love, that you do not see yourself but you see others. And also with the fasting period, you can focus on the life of Christ himself because we have many times of fasting. Sometimes may be related to the period of uh, waiting for his crucifixion and resurrection. So that's the time, the optimum time of repentance. In other fasting times, you know, we focus on St. Mary as the icon for good Christians. We need to be like our mother in her humility, in her praying. Also, we have the fasting before Christmas. So we are waiting for the second coming of the Lord himself. So the church helped us to enjoy fasting times in different aspects, in different ideology. So by fasting we pray better, we come closer to God, we are not, you know, toward the animal side but toward the angel side. So that's the teaching of Christ himself. He enjoyed fasting and he is our role model, so we follow him and we follow all the saints who practiced fasting.